Well, in this video, again, I'm trying to show you another feature of uh, iRoder Balancer app. Again, the iRoder Balancer app, it's um, one of the apps developed by Motionix for balancing of the rotating machinery. Uh, this feature that I'm going to talk about, it's how to uh, back up and also restore the database of the app. Well, this feature is the same for iVibrometer. This is another app that um, you can use it for vibration monitoring. Uh, if you have either of these apps, you can follow this procedure to back up the data and restore the data. It's useful when you want to share your database information, including the report, a PDF report, um, the name of machines, location of them, name of plants, and all of this information. You can share it with another device, you can share it with your colleagues, or if you want to um, um, replace your iPad, you can back up your data, and when you get a new iPad, so you can restore your backup data. Well, um, again, these apps, both of them, they work with the external uh, accessories, including the two channel um, data acquisition, one of the channels connected to the accelerometer, um, and another channel is connected to um, optical tachometer for iRoder balancer. So I'm going to directly go to the app iRoder balancer and show you the features. Okay, in order to start back up the data, you have to go to setting. But before that, let me show you, for example, um, I have some information here, like for machine and plant. I'm going to remove this information. And since I have some other information <coughs> from another device, um, I have another iPad here that on this iPad, as you can see here, um, if I go to reports, you see a lot of information for different machines. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the backup from this device and then I'm going to move to other device and restore it. So the way that we do the backup, we use the um, Dropbox account. So you have to go to setting, to the backup and restore. And um, let me change the light so you can see the details better. Okay. So when you come here the first time, maybe sign out from your account. So you will see just one button called login. If you press the login, it just directs you to your Dropbox account and is asking you either login or if you don't have account, you can write there generated in less than one minute and uh, you accept it. It's, uh, the app is connected to the, um, um, let me change the background, it's connected to the Dropbox. So now again, you go back to the backup and restore, you see the three buttons here and one of them, if you can see, uh, it's saying that backup data, the second one, restore data. So I'm going to do the backup. So what it does, if you can see, it takes like a few seconds, depends how much data you have. Um, it just copies uh, the data database file in your Dropbox account. So you can even go through your computer, go to Dropbox and see that database file, which is a SQLite, and uh, share it with your colleagues. If they copy and save it in their um, account, Dropbox account, they can restore the data to their app. Well, as you can see, this is almost done. Okay, so backup is here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to other device, which is my iPad mini. And uh, as you can see, just we have one plant here. But if I go and restore these, I'm gonna go back again to backup and restore, and restore the data. Well, if it's log out, like for example here, so again, you have to log in with the same account in order to have access to the same database file. So which was info at MotionX. So let's log in. So now I go back to backup and restore and restore the data. So again, it takes a few seconds, depends on the size of the backup file, sometimes a few minutes maybe, if you have many pictures and many information of the machine. Um, once you're done, you should be able to go to the data, to the report manager, and see all the information of uh, the machine that was backed up and restored. So as you can see here, there's a message asking me, do you want to, you have to close the app and relaunch it in order to see the new data. So I'm going to accept it. Close the app and open the app again. Now if I go to report manager, 
as you can see here these all all the machine and plants and information and pictures of those uh, those uh, data that was coming from the other from another device again um, this is the Dropbox account at the same time you can go to your Dropbox and see it I moved to Dropbox after I have my iPad as you can see the main page of Dropbox there is app there is a folder called apps and there is a folder I wrote a balancer and inside that there is a folder mm, database backup and this is the main uh, database file that you always you have the latest version and you can share it with other people or directly you can call it from your app to restore the data. 